Hey guys, so as you can probably tell by the title, we're going to be going over quick shots slash flicks. Um, it's really a mix, you can call it whatever you want. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to do these step by step. By the way, this is an advanced mechanic, so if you're sort of like a, a new player getting into the game, I highly recommend or highly discourage you from at least learning this just yet. But it is still a good um, time to get some common knowledge on the mechanics, so I do recommend watching the video. And also, before you start this, I'd just like to say that this mechanic, I cannot just teach you it and you immediately know how to do it. This is a mechanic that's taken me hundreds and hundreds of hours to try and master, and even then I still haven't mastered it yet. So this is just going to take something constantly practiced over and over and over again. And you're going to make a lot of mistakes, but just figure out where you're going wrong and correct yourself. Alright, now if you don't know what a quick shot is or not really too familiar, it's pretty much just taking a quick shot like that. So you're just snapping it off your stick and hitting it in the net pretty much as fast as you possibly can. And it really does catch the opponents off guard. Alright, now that you know what a quick shot is, we're going to be just going over step by step how to do this. Um, there's also a, a backhand, which currently I'm not too great on, but I'll still kind of give you some hints on what to do. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to focus on doing the front hand, which is uh, this side of the stick right here, or forehand, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're just going to... For the first step, we're just going to go like this with the puck, put the puck on our backhand, and just simply move it forward, and then just lift our uh, stick over the puck and shoot it towards the net. You'll just keep doing this over and over again, and once you get the hang of it, start adding a dash into it, and also try and get a little bit quicker, add a dash, and that's when it really becomes a quick shot. But yeah, once again, if you're not getting it perfect, if you're messing up, don't panic. This is just going to be something that takes time, and uh, especially mastering. But yeah, for the next one, we're going to be working on uh, dashing and also lifting the puck. So what you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing, except uh, pretty much just dash with it. So actually, I'm going to slow this down, going a little bit fast, apologies. But yeah, you're just going to dash like this with the puck. And what I'm doing is I'm letting the puck, I'm delaying it so that I'm letting the puck pretty much move over, shift over to about the center of my stick, and then I'm swinging like that. That's sort of what you want to do. You don't want to immediately, I guess you could immediately do it, but if you want to get a better accuracy and get it more straight, I suggest sort of delaying it just a very tiny bit. If you kind of watch in slow motion, you can see that when I actually hit the puck, um, as you can see right there, I, it's sort of on my stick. It's sort of at the center of my stick, and that's kind of what you want to do. And also, don't just uh, keep going like this. Also, if you're getting better with it, I recommend going to the side and then quick shotting like that. Um, but yeah, it's on to the next one. It's backhand. It's pretty much just going like this with your backhand and quick shotting like that. All right, on to the backhand quick shot. So this one is, in my opinion, way more difficult than the front hand, and this can be very tricky at times. But yeah, this one just takes a lot of practice and repetition, figuring out what you're doing wrong. But hopefully I can give you a bit of a hint on what you can improve. So what you're going to be doing is just going to be carrying the puck like this on your front hand, and then you're just going to be switching it to your backhand and shooting like that. And I don't know why I'm doing this right now. Okay. Give me a second, my autopilot is kind of going crazy on me right now. Alright, well sorry for that. Um, once again, just carry it on your front hand, like this, and then switch to your back hand, and try and implement a dash when you're doing this. You're going to be shooting like that, and you want to try and hit the net. Focus on getting your back hand good, and focus on um, aiming with your back hand. But yeah, just do this over and over again. Once you get comfortable with shooting with your back hand, and switching it from your front hand to your back hand, then we can move on to the next step. All right, now on to step number two for the backhand quick shot. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be carrying it on your front hand and pretty much adding a dash into it. One thing that's helped me out a little bit is aim your stick kind of towards the net, towards the middle of the net, and that can definitely help with aiming and also just pretty much getting the puck on the net. But yeah, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is going to take a lot of time and practice to master. Now that we've kind of gone over pretty much the basics of the um, backhand quick shot we're gonna start adding a we're gonna be lifting the puck this time so what you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna be doing the same thing but instead holding right click and this can be a little bit more tricky for people um, who've just been not really elevating the puck at all but yeah once again this just this pretty much same thing but this is really what you want to do you don't want to just um, you know send it on the ground you want to get some height to it because it makes it a lot harder to save all right, well, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions on this topic, feel free to let me know. And if you have any questions on any other topic related to Slapshot or something you think I can answer, feel free to leave a comment below. 
Also, if you enjoyed, feel free to give the video a like and consider subscribing. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. We're about to hit 300 subscribers and it feels like I just started doing this. So I really appreciate it. And I'm honestly really excited for the game's future and also my channels. Alright, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.